Hi, I'm Alex, the creator of this channel. For those that did not know, I've migrated to Singapore from Malaysia to work, and I would like to share my experiences and also the reasons for my absence the past few months. Last year, I started job hunting because money, and I found a teaching job at Singapore. Then boom, with barely anything other than some clothes and survival money for a month, I have somehow managed to sustain myself. So I'm in that rat race where I work 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, just like most employees, but my work starts a little bit later, so I'm actually in this awkward position where I don't have a lot of time in the morning, and I also don't have a lot of time at night, so it's kind of hard for me to get in the zone of making videos. The place I initially stayed at was bad. Traveling to work takes about an hour, there is no air conditioning, and 6 people are staying there including the landlords, and about 4 of us are sharing the same toilet. One uncle is bed driven and he had to yell every time he needs something, even in the middle of the night. They aren't very clean people either, the toilet and kitchen stinks, there are other stuff too but let's just leave it at that. They are not bad people, just not the type you want to live with. I stayed there for about 4 months and I spent 3 of those months looking for a better place, which I did. Other than it being a little bit noisy sometimes, the new place is clean, it's close to work, and there's air conditioning. I even get my own toilet. My sister who is also stationed in Singapore usually hang out with me on the weekends. We went ice skating, rollerblading, a yacht party, hiking, etc etc etc. She really likes rock climbing and kinda got me into it as well, so I started spending most of my weekends with her and the wall. At this point of time I even gotten myself a decent laptop. So the only thing stopping me from making videos is the time constraint and the noise level. I could record at night with less noise, but I would have to wake up early the next day to work. So what changed? Why the sudden upload? A few days back I got into an accident, basically I fell off the wall when bouldering and I hurt my foot. The doctor said I am unfit to work for a whole week, which means I have time now. Sadly my drawing pad is at the office so everything in this video is done mostly with a mouse thus the simplified animation which I kinda like to be honest, let me know what you think. Comparing Singapore to Malaysia, I would say that it's a faster pace. Everyone's looking busy like they don't even have time to say hi. Not that you should say hi to random strangers. People here are relatively smarter, the majority is very friendly, and the country itself is way 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 safer than Malaysia. Like in Malaysia, you might worry about your phone or wallet even when it's in your pants. In Singapore, people just placed it on a table like a coaster. If you ever want to come to Singapore to work, you should really consider the cost of living here. I heard stories that people are actually leaving leaving Singapore because of how high the rent is. That's really all for this video, thank you very much for watching to the end. I am very happy I get to make this video before I hit the 1 year milestone of teaching my own channel. Leave your thoughts down in the comments because I'm in a new foreign land and I could really use the company. Also if you know of a great country to start a career, do tell. You know, just in case my PR application doesn't get through. Okay, see you next time, bye!